It's such a chilly day in Minnesota today. It's like one of those gloomy, chilly days. Look at that. Brr. It's a good day for soup. That is what's on the menu. Ozzy, are you gonna help us make soup today? Ozzy, are you gonna soup make? <laughs> Aw, let's go make some soup. It's a good day for that. Hey guys. Hey guys. So we are in soup mode today. It's like as windy and cold out. <laughs> yeah, it's windy and cold. And it's like one of those days where you're like lazy and you just want like some warm soup. That's what we're feeling today. So yeah, that's what we're feeling. today we are gonna make another amazing dish that he has mastered. It's a Japanese ramen soup. Yeah. But we use beef in it, right? Yes. So it's actually a Japanese beef ramen soup. So good. So this dish is, you know, obviously originated from Japan and we have not been there yet. However, it is on the list. So one of these days we'll make it to Japan, but we don't know when. <laughs> the list is long and it never ends. So, and if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I am a travel agent. We have started this cooking playlist here on my channel that has been inspired by different countries we've visited and dishes that um, we've always wanted to try. Like I said, we've not been to Japan yet, but we can't wait to go one of these days. Um, but you'll also find different travel vlogs, lifestyle, and tons of different travel tips and advice. So be sure to subscribe and be sure to give this a thumbs up if you haven't already. <laughs> so for our Japanese soup, we're gonna use some green onions. We're gonna use the onion part for the soup and then the green part for the toppings. And um, some dried cloves are gonna go into it. And we have our ramen here. We usually buy, try to buy different ramen, not the instant, but that's all we could get. And uh, the soup base is gonna be beef, bullion soup base. And we're gonna put some mushrooms in this. And uh, we're gonna use ribeye steak. And we couldn't get any bok choy, so we just went with some spinach. And we have some ginger we're gonna put into it. And some fresh eggs from our hens. And that's it. First I like to prepare the vegetables before we get started. Now I'm gonna mince the ginger. Now you can slice up your mushrooms. Now I'm going to put my cloves on the plate. They add a nice little flavor to the dish. Now we're going to soft boil our eggs. We want them kind of, we don't want them completely hard boiled. We want them about halfway so they're a little runny in the middle still. Get our burner on. All right, so the water's boiling. So we're gonna throw our eggs in, nice and easy. Now we'll cover them, turn them down a little bit, and set our timer for do seven minutes. Got a ribeye steak here. You can use any other kind of steak that you want. Tenderloin or flat iron, whatever you choose. I'm only gonna use half of this. We're gonna cut it in half. And trim some of the fat off here. You wanna cut these as thin as possible. Because you aren't actually going to cook this in a pan, you're just going to pour the boiling hot broth right over it. So the thinner it is, the quicker it'll cook with the hot broth. Now 
Now we're going to put our eggs in a cold ice water bath. Cools them down a little quicker and it makes the shells not stick to the egg. So now we're going to cook our ramen noodles. So I'm going to take them out of the package. And we are not going to use the seasoning that it comes with. We're going to make our own broth. Well, we just have to bring some water to a boil and we'll pop our noodles in and those will be finished quickly. So now our water's boiling, so we're gonna throw our ramen in. Just like that. All right, now we're gonna peel our eggs and just cut them in half. All right, now we're gonna cut these in half. Perfect, I see they're a little gooey in the inside, but not too runny so they won't run off. And we're just gonna put these right on our plate with everything else. And there's always time for a beer break. Now our noodles are done, so we're gonna take these off and we're gonna strain them. Bring them over here. Give them a nice strain. I actually, for this dish, like to just rinse them off with some Some water just to get the starch and stuff off of them real quick. Not a lot. We're gonna set them aside in this bowl here. Careful though. Oh. And we're gonna just set these aside. They'll be all right. And if you saw our last video for the Chinese stir fry, um, you saw my little tidbit about warming up your plates in the toaster oven. Um, and of course, now today we have our soup bowls. So we have, we use big wide uh, rim bowls for this soup. So they're just getting in there ready to warm up so they keep our soup nice and warm for when we're ready to eat. Now I'm gonna start making the broth. And I'm first gonna start by heating up the small pan. This will be big enough, it's just the two of us. I'm actually going to start by dry roasting the cloves. So they're just going to go in dry. Kind of brings the flavor out in them. Alright, so now our cloves are toasted. So I'm going to actually put in a little bit of peanut oil. And we're going to go in with our ginger and green onion. Alright, I turn the heat down, the onions are translucent, and the ginger is cooked in well. So now, I'm going to put in a few spoonfuls of the beef bouillon. And then we're going to put our water in. I'm going to do about six cups of water. All right, now we have our water mixed in with our soup base. So we're gonna turn the heat up to high and mix it up. That'll dissolve with the heat. And then once it comes to a boil, we'll just let it simmer for yeah, about 15 minutes or so. Get all those flavors that mix together. All right, our soup broth is done. So we're gonna turn the heat up. And now we're gonna strain it, and then we'll have clean broth left over. I have a strainer and a large bowl here. All 
you wouldn't want to be eating that in your soup, right? Now we're going to saute our mushrooms real quick. Get a cast iron pan going. those guys up a little bit. A little little chef's toss there. Looks like so. Looks easier than it is though. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Alright, these are all cooked up. You don't want to cook them too much. Just like so. That was fun. Love cast iron. Okay, now we're gonna start assembling the bowls. So I'm gonna start by putting this on medium, and then by the time we're done putting everything together, it should be hot and ready to go. Okay, now we're gonna start preparing our bowls. We got our bowls nice and hot. And we start with the noodles. Okay, we have our noodles added. Now I'm going to put in the mushrooms. And the next layer is going to be the spinach. And the next ingredient is the beef. And we just put it in raw, like you would eat a rare steak if you're into that. And what will happen is the broth that is boiling, we'll cook this because we cut everything so thin. Now our broth is boiling, give it a little bit of a stir, and that is extremely hot. So we're going to take it off the burner and we're going to pour it directly over the soup. See how it starts cooking that beef already? And we'll go to the other one. Get it all over it. Even it out. And don't fill it all the way to the top because you gotta put the eggs in yet. Then we're gonna just place our eggs in here. Let's see you guys. Ah, I'm Yummy. still like cold from earlier, so this is gonna like warm me up. <sighs> this looks so good. It is good. This is another one of those dishes we haven't had for a while. So um, to be honest, this YouTube playlist of us cooking dishes has like brought back <laughs> some <laughs> dishes that we haven't had for so long. And this is one of them, you guys. This is true. flavors and the spinach is so good we have a hard time finding bok choy like good bok choy and the miniature bok choy we like the small bok choy rather than the large ones yeah they've been out for weeks I've been trying to find it so we just improvise with spinach it's good it works it's really good so you can always find replacements for most things and I like to use the um, hoisin sauce. I like to just put like a little bit on the beef. Um, it just gives a little bit of extra flavor. She likes sriracha too. No, <laughs> I don't like that stuff. <laughs> so good though. So he has his sriracha bottle and I have my <laughs> hoisin bottle. I know, out of beer, I drink all my beer. Oh boy, mm -hmm. we got real problems. I got today's Zivia. 
You guys ever had this? This is the cola kind. I've tried so many Zivia flavors, and this one is by far my favorite. Mmm. This is so good. All right, you guys, so we're gonna keep eating our soup here. So if you guys decide to make this soup, be sure to let me know down in the comments. It's so easy. And or if you have um, your own touches that maybe you've made this soup in the past, let me know below too. Um, this is just kind of the basic way of how we've always made it and lots of flavor and it's really healthy and good. So yeah, so thank you guys again for joining us on this little cook with me session. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I post new videos every single week. See you later. Bye guys. Bye.